Let's go to Professor Waldo Wigglesworth and Fillmore the Bear. They were roving retailers of a remedy called Indian Guide Elixir. Good for man or beast. But when the bear filled the elixir bottles with water, Hoppity was horrified. But that's water from Ring of Ink's crying. Well, you phony his name, man. He sounds phony to me, too. But nobody can drink that water. And pray tell, why not? Well, look what happens when I pour some over this rock. It gets wet. No, no, watch. <laughs> sure enough, as they watched, the rock underwent a curious transformation. Uh, whoa, whoa, so it's growing. Yeah, yeah. Yes, hair. For in a few seconds, the rocket sprouted a cookie duster mustache and a small Van Dyke. Then they grew into a huge handlebar mustache and a full set of sideburns. It's Dan Bradley. It's fantastic. Now can you see what would happen if you drank it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a fur lined stomach. Hey, what's the matter with your brain? Sure enough, something strange was happening to Waldo. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what well, so. I can see it now! A vision of loveliness! What is it? What is it? In the bottle! What's in the bottle? Water from Riggeting Spring! And on the label it says, yes, yes! Cuball! The Miracle Hair Restorer! Hoppity, my lad, your fortune is made! It is! This is the great and bold of mankind since the split week! Yeah! A little fanfare, boring up! And the whole world immediately took cue ball to its heart. Or rather, to its head. Now you can be taller than she is. Hey, kids, would you like to own a genuine midget cheap dog like this? It's easy. Just take one Mexican hairless man, cue ball! I was a 97 pound weakling. Then I used cue balls. Now I'm a 100 pound weakling. I got a three-pound mustache. Ladies, here's a new glamour tip. Just sprinkle a little cue ball on your ordinary cloth coat. And voila! Instant mink. Cue ball was a boon for Subway Scribbler's too. For no longer did they have to draw mustaches on pretty girls. Just a dab of cue ball did the trick. In 3D, too. Of course, there was some resentment when a case of cue ball fell off the truck and spilled all over a city street. But the quick-witted Waldo was equal to the occasion. Good people, we will simply change the name of this street from Baldwin Boulevard to Long Hair Lane. Yay! Gee, Waldo, everybody likes us. No, Hoppity, not everyone. For here in his palatial home sits Cyrus Glugelhorn. Universal to pay down, federal week down, United Scalp down. What happened, Mr. Drupalhorn? Cue ball, that's what happened. You want I should get rid of them cue ball guys, Mr. Flugelhorn? Yes, Swindrick, then get rid of them permanently. Right, boss. And, uh, Swindrick? Yeah, boss. Cheaply, too. Right, boss. And the sinister Swindrick slithered out into the light. Well, it looks as if our three friends have picked up an enemy and a powerful one at that. Don't miss next time. Hoppity Hooper starring in Dress to Kill. Our three are shrouded.